If your joiner's knives are sharp and installed properly, but you're still having trouble getting wood dead flat, chances are the problem lies in the beds. A misaligned outfeed table can cause stock that's tapered or with a belly in the middle. The joiner's infeed and outfeed tables need to be coplanar to make a straight cut. An older joiner like this one, it's normal for the outfeed table to sag down a little bit. That's the result of years of passing heavy stock over the machine. The good news is, it's an easy problem to fix. First, remove the cutter head guard. Set a straight edge across the two tables that spans the cutter head opening and raise the infeed table so it's level with the outfeed. Be sure to rotate the cutter head so the knives are out of the way. At this point, we've got the two tables in line with one another, but we need to check to see if the outfeed table is tipped up or sagging. Use your straight edge to check either side of the outfeed table, holding it down tightly against the infeed table. You're looking for gaps between the straight edge and the outfeed table that indicate the tables aren't aligned perfectly. On this joiner, I see that the gap is biggest near the cutter head and gets smaller towards the end of the table. It's that way on both sides, but the back side has the biggest gap. So I'm going to use brass shim stock in these dovetail ways to get the table coplanar again. Shim stock can be found at most well-stocked hardware stores. Barring that, online retailers like Granger and McMaster Car also carry it. Begin by cutting some small strips. In this case, I'm starting with a sheet that measures five thousandths of an inch in thickness. Loosen the jib screws that hold the outfeed table down tight to the dovetail ways and slip your shim stock into place as needed. It's a trial and error process. Use a straight edge again to ensure that you've closed up those gaps. Depending on how big a gap you have, you'll either need to add more or less shim stock. Once you're satisfied, tighten down the jib screws and use your straight edge to check your work one last time. Now you can set your outfeed table's height so that its surface is level with the knife edge's topmost point during rotation. Remember, after shimming a jointer, you'll need to reset the knives as well. The final test is easy. Nice and flat. 